Hey everyone, adding hardcover books to your already paperback books library is a great way to add some more variety and books for your customers with KDP. So in this video, I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to change your books to hardcover, whether you have bleed or no bleed, and the resources that you can use. So let's work through this together and get started. So first, I use Canva. You don't have to have the pro version, um, but I definitely recommend it. Let's go with the KDP cover calculator. This is a free tool that KDP lets you use. I already filled in most information. I just did some random things here, but the most important thing is hardcover. And these are the interior trim size options. So there are a lot less options for hardcover when it comes to size. And these are the sizes that we have. So let's do a 8.25 by 11. So I'm going to head on over to Canva, do create a design, custom size, change this to inches. I'm going to do 8.25 and then 11. Now this is the option without bleed. So if you are if you want to create one with bleed, then you would want to go to this resource here. Also on KDP, it's the set, trim, size, bleed, and margins. And you want to go down here, hardcover. Um, this just shows you the different sizes. We actually want to scroll down to the bleed section here. 8.25 by 11 is right here and it tells you bleed would be 8.375 by 11.25 so if i were to create a bleed but or interior i would want to be using these measurements but for this example i will be doing the no bleed but at least that way you know how to do it and the process is going to pretty much be the same so you would just create a new page here and then you would just add in your designs um, and things like that if you started with a paperback book so let's say you started with an eight and a half by 11 that is a common size for a paperback so let's open it up and i'll show you how you could change it we could have left open the other tab with the actual hardcover size and just copied everything over here and pasted it However, that is an option to do if you have the free version. If you have the pro version, I'll show you how you can do it quicker. So let's just add in some sort of random design here so that way we can um, do that and I can give you an actual example. So let's just add in this dog because I think this dog is cute. <laughs> so let's add it right in the middle. We'll go right there. So let's say I have an entire book like this. This is a paperback, eight and a half by 11. This is no bleed. It's in the margins. You can see the big box there when it shows up. Let's see, there we go. So it's within the margin. So if I want to change this to a hardcover, I want this to be 8.25 by 11. All I have to do is hit this resize button, change this to 8.25, and I could either copy and resize or just resize. And we're just going to do just resize design resize successfully. So now this has the measurements changed for the hardcover. You can see it did move the picture a bit, like it looks a little different. So when you do change the size of your interior, you may have to go through all your pages and make sure it all lines up correctly, but it shouldn't really be that big of a change. And again, if this were bleed that you wanted instead, so let's see, this would be 8.375 by 11.25. Let's do this 8.375 by 11.25. And let's resize that. It doesn't always load the new measurements unless I refresh. But I think that this changed it. This is 8.375 by 11.25. So now this would be with bleed, which means I would want it to go all the way past the edges and I would make it. The entire size. So I know this was a bit of a quick tutorial and before I end this video I will show you what I was talking about just copying and pasting. I'm just going to select some random sizes so don't look at the sizes for this example but just to show you what I was talking about. So all you would do is open up two different pages. One would be the actual size page that you want and the other one would be the current size that you have. So I'm just going to add a random, random that in there. And we'll add a random banner. 
There we go. And I'm just going to highlight all of this. So unfortunately, if you had uh, more than one page or this is part of the background, so I don't think it's going to actually copy. Well, let's see. Let's try to copy the background. We'll go over here. I'm going to hit control V. There we go. We pasted it. Highlight everything um, just to get these top two. I'm going to hit control C and then control V here again. They copied and pasted. So this is kind of a way around that if you don't have the Canva Pro version. But again, just make sure your sizes are accurate. This cover calculator is incredible. So let's say that we wanted to have a book. Um, oh, you do need to have at least 76 pages. Let's do 80. This is for hardcover only. And then it gives you your dimensions, your width and your height for your cover. So this is an incredible resource. And this trim size sheet here gives you all of the sizes you need, bleed or no bleed. So I highly recommend checking these out. I'll link them in the comment section below. But this is how you can easily transform your book to hardcover. And when you upload it, it usually saves all the information you have from your paperback. So there isn't going to be much you have to change. And it can be a really quick and easy way to kind of just add another option for customers and make your book stand out even more. So I hope that this was helpful and I really appreciate all the support. So thank you so much for watching and listening and I hope you have a great day.